Hey guys, Ellie from Excellence Property Management here. Now this information is specifically for our tenants. Um, now look, we totally understand that a lot of you are suffering extremely high stress levels at the moment um, as a result of not only the financial impact, but also the emotional impacts that this virus is having. Um, and I guess this information is here to clear a few things up and to give you some guidance because I do understand there has been a lot of questions around what happens with my rent, what happens if I can't pay my full rent, what happens if I've lost my job, all, all those sorts of things. And look, to be really honest with you and um, just to clearly explain, this is our interpretation of the legislation, this is our method. It may not suit everyone and um, I guess the purpose of the legislation that's been passed down is to get landlords and uh, tenants talking to one another to come up with what they think is a reasonable outcome and as property managers, we're going to be the liaison for that. So with the recent legislation that's just come out, basically in, um, in essence of it is if you have been affected financially due to the COVID virus, the landlord cannot evict you from the property for the next six months due to non-payment of rent, so due to rental arrears. So rest assured you're going to have a roof over your head. Really clearly though, this does not mean you don't have to pay rent at all, and that's why they've passed down very general legislation and they're getting us to obviously come together and come up with a solution. Um, if you, it's not reasonable to expect that you'd just have a complete freeze and you wouldn't have to pay rent for six months because your landlord um, not only has mortgage payments on the property um, and you know we're not convinced that they're going to get a mortgage freeze for the next six months either. Um, however, they have other in, uh, expenses as well, such as rates, insurance, maintenance, and quite often in Australia, invest property investment is negatively geared, so your landlords are actually topping up those expenses out of their own pocket. So we don't want a situation where you know, you're still required to pay rent, but the rent's that much so that in six months time, you as the tenant have incurred that much debt that you cannot pay it back within a reasonable time frame. which means when this is all over, if you can't rectify it, your, your tenancy will eventually end anyway. Um, but we also don't wanna put the landlord into a situation where their family and themselves financially struggle excessively to the point where they can't keep the property or you know things get that dire straight. So if we all work together and come up with a reasonable outcome that suits all parties, that's how we're all going to get through this um, on the other side. And what we want is obviously the landlord to be able to get enough income to cover the expenses or not put them into that financial pressure category, but also for you, come up with an amount that you can pay um, so and you can commit to that week on week so that at the end of the six months, you've paid your rent on time, you've still got really good rental history, you've got little if no debt to repay and we can all move forward and your tenancy will also continue at that point as, as well. Um, what we want is, and the way that we're identifying this is through what we're going to call a financially practical agreement. So what I've just explained to you is a financially practical agreement. Um, this situation is going to be personal and different for everyone. Um, and we understand that obviously it's going to be on a case by case basis. So we've put systems and procedures in place to help um, assist with this and act as your liaison in between to help everyone get the best outcome. Um, if you can't commit to a financially practical agreement, so if it's you know wits end and it's easier for you to just move in with a friend or family member and you just can't do it, the option is there to approach the landlord about ending your tenancy early under the grounds of hardship. Whether they can agree to this or not will be up to their landlord insurer and also up to them. So I'm not guaranteeing this, but understand that is an option for you as well. So the best way to step forward if you are a tenant and you have been affected by the virus um, is number one, we need to work out what is financially practical for you. So in order to do that, you will need to have a look at what financial assistance you are eligible for and what you can get and also when you can get it. Once you've done that and once you know that, we have developed uh, what we've called a financial hardship application. As part of that application, it will tell us, I guess, where you sit with that. We will have to ask you, unfortunately, to provide some sort of supporting documentation. I understand a lot of you are genuine. Um, however, there are people out there that are, are going to take advantage of this and we have an obligation to the landlord to protect them from that. With this form with us will be online so you can do it all electronically and we're making it easy as possible. 
possible. But if you can take those first steps, get that together. Um, also, just let us know if you haven't already um, that you have been financially affected. That way we can have preliminary conversations with your landlord as well. Um, if you haven't been affected financially due to the virus, what we do ask, and I cannot stress this enough, is that new legislation is not relevant to you. So please continue to pay your rent on time, continue looking after the property, free up your property manager so that we can spend the time giving assistance to those people who really, really need it. Um, we wanna help them, obviously this is super stressful. We wanna make sure that we get a great outcome for everyone, but we need time to be able to do that. So we're relying on you guys as well. Um, I understand that um, this is a really, really stressful time for everyone. So I hope that this information has been helpful. But if you are one of our tenants and you're looking for more information, please contact uh, Caitlin and Jesse. They're in our tenant team. Um, they will answer any questions that you've got and talk you through further if you need to. Look, like I said, I hope this has been helpful. Um, let's all work together. I know that we can. Um, and, you know, come out bigger, better and stronger than this on the other side. Thanks, guys. Have a good afternoon.